The showers and thunderstorms that we are still tracking out across far eastern Colorado, those are all going to continue to slide out of here as we take you into the early morning hours of your Thursday. As you're driving into work or wherever your Thursday morning is taking you, I expect plenty of sunshine. Dry roads are expected. I don't anticipate any issues through the first half of tomorrow. By lunchtime, still looking pretty good, but then as we take you into the afternoon, I do expect showers and thunderstorms to once again redevelop along the front range and also sliding along the I-25 corridor. Now, as these storms move over Overhead, I do not expect them to be quite as strong as the storms that we had yesterday. The severe potential is looking rather slim, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. We could still see a few storms capable of producing heavy rain and even some small hail, so stick with us through the day tomorrow. We'll keep you ahead of all of those storms. By 8 o'clock, we'll still be tracking a few showers up across the high country, but those storms are going to come to an end just like we saw out there tonight by about midnight. I expect clearing skies into your Friday morning once again. Storms tomorrow will be fewer and farther between than what we had out there today. So with fewer storms in place, that's going to give us the opportunity to warm up even further. We'll hit 87 degrees in Colorado Springs. 92 will be the high temperature in Pueblo with temperatures in the 90s for the southeastern corner of the state. And if that sounds warm to you, wait until you see how hot it gets on Friday. In Colorado Springs, we're in the 80s tomorrow, but Friday, I expect us to hit the 90 degree mark. We'll continue to keep storms in the forecast each afternoon through next Tuesday. Notice Tuesday that will fall into the 70s, so if you're a fan of the heat, enjoy it because we do have some cooler weather heading our way early next week. Things will dry out by the middle of next week. In Pueblo, 92 degrees tomorrow, 97 on Friday. We'll have a dry day on Friday with temperatures looking very warm. We may even have a few triple digits across the plains this Friday. We'll fall a bit as we head into the weekend, dropping back into the upper 80s come Sunday. A chance for storms Saturday through Tuesday in Pueblo. In Canyon City tomorrow, we could see a few scattered storms during the afternoon. 80s this weekend. We'll keep the 80s in place through early next week. By Wednesday, we'll take storms out of the forecast. In Keller County tomorrow, 75 degrees. We'll keep 70s in place through Sunday. A 20 to 30 percent chance for storms is expected, with 60s returning to the forecast Monday and Tuesday before we warm back into the, Wednesday, or the 70s by Wednesday. And of course, with all the rain that we have had lately, along with the snow melt, high water is what is being reported from the RathTheBest.com water report with some pretty high flows along the Arkansas River. So that's something that we are continuing to track as well as those numbers keep on climbing. Mm. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, you bet, Rachel. Well, terrorism hits in the heart of a shopping area in Israel. The violence and the accused.